In this session, I will demonstrate how the data latch RS based works. The first thing we will do is click on the board to energize the circuit. Now that we have energized the circuit, let's talk about the operation and design of the circuit. We use the clock signal to determine when the input signal D is allowed to affect the output signal Q. When the clock signal is off the way it is right now, changing the input signal will not change the output signal. When the clock signal is on, the value of the output signal Q is the same as the value of the input signal D. When D is 1, Q is 1. And when D is 0, Q is also 0. Now, a word about the design of this circuit. If you remember, the gated set reset latch, NAND base, this wire was the set, and this wire was the reset input. Hence, this data latch is simply a gated set reset latch with the inputs S and R tied together through an inverter. You see, you have the four NAND gates, set, reset, and the clock. The four NAND gates, set, reset, and the clock. Except here, set and reset are tied together through an inverter. Again. When the clock signal is high, Q follows D. When the clock signal is low, it does not matter what D does, Q does not see it. This, these two conditions are expressed by this input, where we say D is equals to X, meaning it doesn't matter. D is irrelevant when the clock signal is zero. For more information on the operation and function of this circuit, visit tialab.com. At tialab.com, we take you through a step-by-step -step analysis of the circuit. We show you how to get the Boolean expression.
the transition table or state transition table and we show you how to get the state diagram Thank you for watching this session of tialab.com.